welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for clicking you're probably thinking about getting a bbl or you probably scared to get a bbl you want one you're considering it you're juggling it whatever the case is stick around because this video you should watch before you get a bbl or even considering it or maybe you just want to be nosy all right so let's get into it um Woo! So let me start and give you guys a little background about my body type, okay? Um, it started when I was like 10 or 11 years old. Um, I find I found myself um, taking sweaters and wrapping it around my waist because a lot of perverted guys on the street would um, try to holler at me and it made me feel really uncomfortable. Um, I was really insecure um, about my shape. I, you know, a big butt. Like I was really like, you know, um, insecure about it because I, I thought it was a bad thing for me to have at such a young age. So um, I grew up self-conscious about my body. Um, it wasn't until high school. No, I'm, I'm skipping middle school. Middle school. Um, that's when like boys would only like me because I had a big butt. So it was just giving me the wrong attention. And it wasn't until high school where I learned to um, embrace my, my body, my shape. And, um, you know, my confidence was through the roof. Um, I, ne I never dated anyone that I went to school with anyway. I always dated older. So it worked in my favor. Older guys that um, I like. You know just wanted me to be 18 so bad anyway that's a side the point i loved my body when i got to high school right then i got pregnant and i'm going to show you guys a picture of how i look before the bbl okay so yeah um i got pregnant and um everything just went downhill like I suffered from um, postpartum depression, AKA PPD, after I had my daughter, cause I was really young, you know, I, was, I got pregnant as a teenager. I was really young and I was just scared and so many emotions going through me and my body changed drastically, okay? It was like horrible. Like, first of all, I had to get a C-section because my daughter wasn't ready. She was two weeks late and she just didn't want to come out and the doctors um saw that her head was forming into a cone so i had to get a c-section and then after that like i had like this flabbing skin and then i gained weight during the pregnancy and gained weight after it so i completely did not recognize myself did not recognize my body and i remember this one particular time me and my sister we went to um Jamaica Avenue, you know, that's a shopping center in Queens. And um, we were trying on clothes in the dressing room and I was trying on my stuff. And I remember looking in the mirror and I just broke down crying. You know, I just, imagine having a nice body your whole life. And then you get pregnant, have a kid, and then God just take it away from you. Like, what? Like, he really humbled me. So yeah, um, I was crying. My sister was looking at me like, wow, are you okay? And you know, I just said to, and then after that, back then BBL wasn't popular. Um, it was the butt shots that was popular. So I was strongly considering the butt shots because it was the cheaper route. And you know, I, I, I knew a few people who got it done and they didn't die, so I was con considering it. But then something in my mind told me like, nah, I don't get it. So then um, I was like, I discovered BBLs and I'm like, I'm gonna get that. I don't care what it takes. I don't care, even if I have to dance for it, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I'm gonna get a BBL, but I was determined, right? I was really determined. And I'm an Aquarius, so once we put our mind to something, that's gonna be done. So, um, back then when I got it done, it wasn't as cheap as it was now. I think I paid around like seventy five hundred dollars. 
at the time. So yeah, I saved all my money. I got my body done. I, um, I was going to Miami. I didn't tell a soul. Well, all I told was my boyfriend at the time and he was trying to discourage me from getting it. He's like, no, don't get it. I love you the way you are. If you get this done, I swear to you, we are not gonna, I don't think he swear, but he's like, we're break, I'm breaking up with you if you get it done. You think you guys think that stopped me? No, no, it did not stop me. Not a soul could stop me. So, um, I went to Miami alone. Um, 2014, I went to Miami alone and I got it done. Um, by the way, I had did extensive research on this doctor in Miami. I was on Real Self every day. Those of you who don't know what Real Self is, it's basically a surgery blog where you see a bunch of reviews and um and reviews on doctors, different types of surgeries and whatnot, and not just BBL. So I used to be on Real Self religiously night and day looking at wish pics um just reading different women's stories and like damn that's gonna be me one day damn so it happened to be me one day i went and got it done i'm thinking i'm gonna be fine I, mind you i didn't tell my family none of my sisters even knew um i'm saying to myself i'm gonna be fine i'm young I'm, I'm, you know, I'm 20, 23, 24 years old. I'm healthy. Nothing's going to happen to me. Boy, was I wrong. Something happened to me, okay? Something bad happened to me. Just keep listening to the story. So, um, yeah, I went, um, got my body done alone. Nobody knew except for that guy. And... Looking back, what I did was was dangerous. It was selfish. Um, I could have left a daughter behind. I could have left my family behind. My mother, like a mother, you know, I'm somebody's child. She has no idea. And um, when you get your body done in Miami, you need to stay there for a minimum of ten days. So I was there for ten days. Um, everything was fine. The doctor put like. Um, 3,600 cc's in my butt. Um, I, I believe, cause back then that was the max. I don't know if it's still the same. Um, that's like two liters of fat. You know, like a, like a, 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 a soda bottle, like a liter, two liter soda bottle. I think if I'm not mistaken, that's like two liter um, Pepsi bottles of fat in each of my butt. If I'm wrong, you could tell me in the comments. But I, all I know is that I had 3,600 cc's in total. Divide that by two, I think. Yeah, whatever. So he gave me the most. So my butt was like really big, right? Mind you, I um I already had a nice foundation. A lot of people look at my body and they think I had like two rounds. No, one was enough because, like I told you guys, like I've been had a nice foundation since 10 years old. Like I had a nice body. So, I got it done. Um, I love my results. Everything's fine. It wasn't until I got home, I started having complications. One morning, I woke up and I felt like this hot, this hot, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like this hot like boil or bump inside of my, my butt, my left butt cheek. When you touch it, it's like really warm and hot. It's like this, it was like the size of a quarter. So I'm taking pictures. I sent a picture to my doctor. He's asking me questions, I'm answering it. Um, fast forward to that, he's like, you have a micro, it looks like you have a microbacteria infection. You need to get down here ASAP. So what if I didn't have money to go back to Miami? Mind you, I'm home back in my hometown in New York. What if I did not have $600 for that plane ticket to go back to Miami? 
So thankfully, luckily, thank God I had the extra funds. So that's another thing. If you thinking about getting surgery, aside from the massages and the aftercare maintenance that you got to pay for, have money on the side just in case shit hits the fan and you have to pay for um, in case things don't go right. Okay. So I go run back to Miami by myself petrified because I don't know what's happening to me and if I hadn't said anything and just let it rock I could have potentially died so he's like come here fast ASAP I have to remove the infection out of you so this means he is going to perform another surgery where he is slicing my butt and taking that infection out um so yeah it's called a microbacterial infection and um, if correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is from dirty tools. That's why I didn't even blame the doctor because I felt like it's the facility's fault, you know? So that's another thing. I don't care how much extensive research you do on a doctor, something can always go wrong. There is no such thing as a safe BBL. You have doctors now like dropping out because so many people are dying. You know, it's not just infections. There's so many reasons why people are dying from BBL these days. It's not even funny. And me being young and healthy, I'm thinking nothing's going to happen to me. You know, I'm fine. I'm perfect. You know, every time I go to the doctor, you're like, oh, you're 20 something. You're healthy. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, yeah. Um, sorry, guys. I go to Miami, he performs a surgery, he cuts, he slices my butt open, he takes out the nasty looking infection, and I now had a hole, I now have a hole on my butt, like, like this size, I, I don't even have pictures, I, I never took pictures because it's like, I, I want to erase that memory, like, I was going through a, such a dark place in my life at that time and I was going through it I felt like I was alone mind you my family doesn't know that I got this done like they didn't know I had my body done until like because I had got my body done in the winter time so that's when like you can hibernate wear sweats and all that um they didn't know until like maybe two months later that I got it done but I was silently um suffering from the infection you know and taking care of it taking care of it so like i said he did he left me with a hole like this size like this size and it's like you could look inside of it like it was like real meaty and, and red and stuff so when i got back to new york he suggested that um well it was it's not a suggestion it was mandatory that i seek a uh, um, infectious disease doctor um, in my hometown. So I was getting treated by infectious disease doctor. Like what if I didn't have health insurance, you know? But I had to pay out of pocket for like wound care items, like um, bandages and stuff. That was really expensive. So for months I'm walking around with a hole on my butt and I had to dress it every day, change the dressing. And it's like, I was silently going through it. I was like so depressed. Nobody knew, like, mind you, like it's taken me like years to finally share my story. Like this happened back in 2014 and I'm now talking about it, you know? Cause I feel like, well, maybe, maybe this story could like help someone, you know? Because like, I wish I knew when I was getting it done, like, this could potentially happen to me, but I wasn't thinking like that. So even if this, even if you hear my story and you're like, you still want to get the, your body done, that's fine. I respect people's decision. I'm, you know, I just want you to know that make sure you're going into surgery, um, with a, with a mind, make, make mental adjustments and say to yourself, like yeah um i know the risk involved i know that i could a potentially die i know b 
I could potentially get catch an infection. Just as long as you come, I, I know that I may not come out with the results I have. Keep your expectations low if you're getting a BBL. Don't think your body's gonna come out looking like Bernice if you were born with a pancake. It's just not realistic. Be realistic. Like I told you guys from young, I had a nice foundation to begin with. So just keep those three things in mind. So yeah, um, finally, um, the, the whole closed, you know, I was cleaning it every day and I was going through a lot, depressed, I was eating. Another thing, don't think you can get your body done and eat whatever you want. Because remember, if you go back to my story earlier, I told you after I had my daughter, I had flabby skin. I had like skin over my, you know, thing, thing or whatever. That came right back. It came right back. And I was looking like before, but my butt just like huge. And I was getting the wrong type of attention from the wrong type of men, you know? I was like all messed up in the game. I'm eating whatever I want, thinking like, oh, I got this surgery. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You ha it wasn't until I made a healthy lifestyle change and lost weight that I got the best results out of my money. You know, if you're going to get something, protect the investment, you know? And I'm sorry if my story's all over the place. I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget everything because the stuff... It's, it's really not easy. A lot of goes into like plastic surgery, you know, a lot of thoughts and uh, mental adjustments. See, see a therapist if you have to before getting it done or even after you may need it because your life will change. Some for the better, some for the worse. You know, I, I've experienced both, you know, after, so after I got my body done, I was eating whatever I want. I thought I was good. I put on pounds. I got even more depressed, put on more weight. The flab came back. My, Of course, like I said, my butt was big, but it just got huge, like, like freakish big. And I was getting the wrong type of attention. And I'm just so glad that um, I found a product that, um, help me to lose the weight and also help me make money. So that's how I maintain my um, results, the best results, you know. Um, I make sure I don't like gain over a certain number and it's just, when I detox, when I use um, the IASO tea and I detox, I probably detox maybe like four or five times a week and keeps my shape intact. So that's another thing to consider um, even if you're not getting surgery, it's, it's just good to detox overall, you know? So, yeah. Um, man, I had that infection, and till this day, you guys, I still have a scar on my butt, which is a constant reminder. Like, wow, Ashley, you were, like, really selfish to do this. Like, why? What were you thinking? you know and I, will, I I honestly believe social media definitely um, played a role in me getting my body done because it's like you see all these Instagram models and it's it's, it's just really tempting and I, didn't, I never liked how things fit on me and the gym wasn't even an option I'm gonna keep it real with you guys the gym was not an option so yeah, um, I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything out. So yeah, if you're, if you're about to get a BBL, if you're considering it, I can't even tell you to do, make sure you do your research because you, like I said, you could do your research and something can still happen. It may be something on the facility's fault, you know, why something goes wrong with you. So I'm not going to tell you to do research and I'm not going to tell you to get your body done and I'm not gonna tell you that plastic surgery is wrong either because to each its own, you know what I mean? I'm just here to tell you guys 
to make sure you have an open mind and you weigh out the pros and the cons. And if if you if you don't if you want to play Russian roulette with your life, or if if you don't care about catching infections, then hey, so be it. But I'm just here to share my story. Um, uh, microbacterial infections are uh, more and more common now. I, I see it on um, social media. But back then in 2014, nobody was talking about these microbacterial infections. And I was one of the people that was like silent about it, that I had to live with it for a really long time. Um, I think the hole on my butt closed at, after maybe seven, eight months. I was, I was going through it for a while and I did not feel sexy at all. I, w I didn't want to be naked in front of nobody. I didn't feel sexy. I, for a long time, I could just, I just couldn't. And, woo! <laughs> yeah. I just want you guys to to just know what you're getting into. I know it's not easy in today's society with all the superficial um, things going on on social media, but really learn to appreciate what you have and love every inch of you. Value yourself. Affirm yourself every day you're beautiful. Try to eat better. Try to make healthier food choices. Like for me, um, I didn't start seeing a drastic change in like weight loss until I like stopped eating meat. So I'm not telling you guys to go to go go cold turkey, but like if you eat meat seven days a week, try not to eat it three days out the week, you know, like wean yourself off. Once you start doing baby steps, you're gonna see some some changes. You, you're gonna notice, you know, start taking your vitamins. I, I take um, Nutriburst, it's a liquid vitamin. And um, what I like about it is it's, it's not a pill, it's not a gummy because pills only have like a 50% absorption rate. Pills just sit in your stomach. Nutriverse is a liquid vitamin and it has like a 98% absorption rate. So it goes into your bloodstream fast. Once I started taking Nutriverse, I noticed like my skin glowing, my hair was growing. And one shot is equivalent to eating 10 salads. So I started taking that. I started detoxing and, it, and my skin started getting clearer. And then, you know, like I, I learned to like just appreciate what I have and, and I'm just like, it brought me so much closer to God because I'm like, wow, God, like I could have died. Like, I, yo, I was selfish. I could have left a four-year-old behind. Like my mom had no idea, <laughs> you know? Um, the experience brought me closer to God and I started working on my inner beauty um, rather than my outer beauty. And I really just like, just started doing some serious mental work because I felt like I was starting to have like a mental issue because I thought, even after the BBL, I thought I wasn't perfect. I felt like I needed more. And it's like a sickness. Once you get plastic surgery and you're not satisfied and you think there's something wrong with you, at that point, it becomes a disease, like something is wrong with you. So I had really had to get down on my knees and pray to God to rebuke this devil in me. Like, no, like you're fine. I'm fine, you're perfect, you're beautiful, you know? So even if you get your body done, like, I pray that everything goes well with your um, surgery. You come out alive and healthy and and infection free and you, you get the best results you want. But understand all that stuff may not happen, but uh, hope for the best.
prepare for the worst, okay? So yeah, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to show you guys my um, my results now and um, my scar because I like to, when I post something, I like to show receipts. That's just me. And, I, you know, I don't want to write coming for me. So, so this is my body. It won't go like a little bit. This is it. Let me show you guys the mark. You see that long dash slash right here? That's where he, don't mind this. This is from a car accident, but this is it right here. Right there. He cut open and took the infection out. So yeah, that's my constant reminder of girl, why you going to do that? Why you going to do that? But I'm happy now knowing what I know and I eat right. I don't indulge too much, but I do have my fun here and there. And yeah, I've been maintaining my results with the tea, the Nutriverse. And I cut out meat. I probably, I probably would have fish and seafood here and there. So technically, I am a pescatarian. And yeah, guys, I hope this video was informative. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments. If you have any video suggestions on what I should do. Um, leave it down in the comments as well and follow me on Instagram. I'm active on my story every single day. Um, if you have questions about the tea, I'm here for you too. Um, a link of the tea that I take to maintain my results will be in the description bar. Okay. So stay safe. I love you guys. Wear your mask.